How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we are taking a look at a couple new sheds by Lancy Boy. Now I was contacted by Lancy Boy a few days ago and he sent me the files and he goes, here you go bud, but I'm on console. I had to wait. So unfortunately I had to tell Lancy, hey man, sorry, it's going to be a couple days. I got to wait till these things come out. He's like, no problem, man. I'm really, really super appreciative that Lancy Boy sent those over to me as an early access. Here we go. Uh, hopefully this is something we can add to the channel a little bit more. And if you guys know me, I really like realistic looking stuff. And there's nothing better than a Lancy Boy shed. I mean, his maps are phenomenal. His detail and stuff that he puts, like a gate right here sitting next to the building, right? A tank right there. A couple sheds. Now, it would be really cool if you could actually store stuff inside these sheds too. I went up to him and tried to, uh, to open them. There's nothing here. But that would be a really, really cool thing in a uh, future update. I don't know if it's possible or not. I just know something like this came out on console um, not too long ago as a mod just by itself for these storage containers. So that would be really, really cool. Um, around back, there's nothing really else back here. Um, I, I like the detail in the, the downspouts. I mean, so much detail here. It's really, really cool. And, you know, one thing I was noticing is the metal. That looks pretty cool. I mean, metal like this isn't going to be shiny. Now, it's got a little bit of texture to it, right? And it's got a little discoloration. But I don't think that's bad. I mean, that is, to me, that looks like a really, really nice... It's a little bit shinier than it would be in real life. I, I think it looks really, really cool. Really cool. Really realistic. And, I mean, the dirt and everything that you've got here on the bottom of the, the, sh uh, the siding. Oh, man. So, what do you have? Well, this is going to be your large shed and or large storage barn, and this is going to hold medium to large size equipment pretty easily. It's actually going to be 11.84 megabytes for a download. So this is going to cost you $200,000 to put on your farm, and it's going to be $50 a day for upkeep. So not too bad. I mean, this tank over here, obviously now with a shed, you're not going to be able to get anything to put in here, but it's still a really, really nice touch. And you've even got a dumpster around over here with some stuff. Wow. Really, really awesome, Lancey. Man, these look so cool. So cool. And now this right here is because I didn't have the ground properly leveled. I highly recommend leveling out your ground, and then you're going to be okay. Um, I didn't do that here on this farm. You can see we're on Lone Oak right now. And this field, I thought it was pretty flat, but it's not really flat. So, unfortunately, that showed up. But I think if you had the ground leveled, it wouldn't be an issue at all. So let's go ahead and go in here. I want to show you where the lights are actually located at. They're going to be right here in this corner. So right here, if we look this way, check this out. I mean, that's cool. The, the animations on that, right? Oh, and I mean, I like how you've got the light coming in through the top. I mean, this is awesome. Now, I know that this may not be a traditional American style barn, but, but... It, it doesn't clash as much as some of the other European styles. I mean, the doors and everything like that work really well. Um, the biggest thing is just the, the the brick down here. But you could you could probably make it work. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, right? So let's look at this. That right there is your Lone Oak Big Shed, right? Huge shed. And if we turn around this way right here, look how big this one is. And I don't know if it if it definitely looks out of place or not i mean yeah maybe a little bit but i still think you can make it work on an american farm i really really do i said there was two right well here's the second one a little bit smaller this is your storage barn it's going to be for small to medium size equipment and as you can see it has a overhang here that you can put bales under or you could put some of your other equipment that you don't want to put inside i mean you could get a couple rows of bales there if you wanted to pretty easy maybe even three actually and um, same thing happened here. I didn't level out the ground properly, as you can see. I just placed it. So that's what's going on there. It's not super noticeable, but just a little bit. So I highly recommend leveling out your ground, and you're going to be all right. And this one here, it's got a lot of detail, too, all the way around it. Now, does this one have the sides? Yes, it does. So it's going to be just like the other one. A little bit different texture brick here, though. So if we look at this, it's, uh, yeah, it's like a, a preform. Instead of bricks, they put like forms up and did it that way. You got a storage shed over here again. You've got a light that's going to come on. Really, really nice. And you've got one door right here. So if we open up this one door, then come in. You got a little bit of stuff over here in the corner. 
Not bad. Looks like some boxes that you might be able to put some eggs in or something for you. Nice little shed. Same thing. We've got lights right over here. So let's check out this animation. Not bad. It's nice. It's not as noticeable as the other one because the other one's so longer, so much longer. But this one here is going to be 9.01 megabytes for download. It's 150k to uh, put down on the map, and then $50 a day for the upkeep. Man, I really, really like these. Um, I like that this one's green too. I mean, this one does definitely feel a little bit more European because of the color. I feel like I haven't seen too many green building or too many green barns here in the states. You know, I'm from the central part of the United States, and I haven't really seen too many. But I don't think it would clash. I really don't. I think this would still you could make this work on an American farm. I really, really do. Um, but yeah, just definitely make sure you level out your ground. Didn't do it, and you're seeing the results of it. So, highly recommend that. So, in closing, I just want to say that these are two really, really awesome buildings here. I know that Lancey is taking a break from map banking right now, and I really hope he keeps it up here on buildings. If this is indica any indication of what he can do when he really gets into it, I mean, I think he's just kind of like relaxing right now, like making these barns, right? But if Lancey Boy decided to really get into some sheds, oh my goodness, y'all. I mean, they're, whew, so much detail. I mean, and just the possibilities. If he, I heard maybe, I think on some news that we were going to be getting uh, the American sheds from American Life Farming. Be on the lookout for that. If we do it, I'll probably go through and do another tour of those as well. I want to start doing more of these on the channel um, because once I get the PC, I'm going to be able to have a little bit more access to those types of mods. And I've already been contacted by some modders to do some early access stuff. And I, I, I just I can't right now. Unfortunately, I'm super excited to start on it. So you guys are going to start seeing a little bit more of this. That way I can hone in my skill a little bit more. You guys can give me feedback. What do you like? What do you don't like? What else do you guys want to know? Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely, definitely throw it down in the comments below. And if you want to be kept up to date on anything happening here in Farming Simulator 19 with any mods that we have a look at or anything coming with Farming Simulator 22, definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you do, hit the notification bell. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.